Demo. A song or group of songs recorded for limited circulation or reference use, rather than for general public release. That's the music industry definition of a demo, and it's 100% true for established artists. You wouldn't hear Beyonce's demo, now would you? But for new artists, a demo can be useful in a variety of ways. You can use your demos for reference, sure, but you're probably already making reference recordings for yourself, and those don't need to be of a demo quality. When you're just starting out, the main purpose of a demo is to get you gigs. You can also use it to put online to get people to come to those gigs. If it's an exceptionally good demo and you are an exceptional musician, you can even use the demo to attract interest from blogs, magazines, music management companies, record labels, and etc. It might not get you signed to a label, but it might get someone from that label along to your gig. Since you can use it for all of those things, it better sound good. So you need to record. Recording can be a lot of fun, but it can also be difficult to get something good if you're just starting out or on a limited budget. So let's go over a few ways that you can make a demo. Home studio. Building a home studio is easier than it ever has been. Computers and recording equipment are relatively cheap and accessible for most people. More and more musicians are using home studios to create everything from demos to full-scale professional releases. Remember though that the quality of home studio recordings is determined by the quality and experience of the person recording them and the gear that they have available. So let's start with the basics. For a basic home studio setup, you need the following. A microphone. If you're a singer, you need something like a Shure SM58. An instrumentalist will need something like a Shure SM57. A recording interface. This takes the analog signal you're creating with your instrument and turns it into a digital signal that inputs to your computer via USB. A computer. It doesn't have to be brand new, but it should be compatible with and meet the system requirements of your interface. Recording software. Otherwise known as DAW or DAW, which stands for Digital Audio Workstation, you need software to capture the audio signal from your interface. Start out with something free like Audacity. Headphones. Get the best you can, but they should be at least on-ear or over-ear headphones. Something, you know, like that. No in-ear buds. We're going to talk sample rates and bit rates and frequency another time in another video. But for now, this simple setup will enable you as a soloist, uh, an electronic musician or a small ensemble to start recording and to make a demo. If you're in a band or have a bigger group, you're going to need something with a bigger capacity. Let's go over some places where you might be able to find uh, a bigger studio. School studio. Does your school, college or university have a recording studio? Use it. You might even be able to get it for free if you're a student. If you don't know how to use the equipment, ask the studio technician or whoever is in charge of the studio. They might be able to help you themselves or they might be able to recommend someone who can help you. At a gig. Using your home computer and your interface like we talked about before, or perhaps if you have a portable recorder such as a Zoom H4, you can make a recording from one of your live gigs. The best thing to do is talk to the sound engineer at your gig and ask them well in advance uh, how you would go about doing this uh, and if they have the capability or inclination to help you do so. This method means you only get one take and you probably can't change anything about the mix afterwards. Uh, but it's a really cheap and easy way to get a decent sounding demo. Friends and students. I was one of these guys. As an audio engineering student, I needed artists and bands to record all of the time. For the first two years of my degree, I was recording everyone and anyone for free in order to fulfill the requirements for my course assignments. Ask around. Ask your friends, someone might know someone else who is in a recording school or who has a home studio and who is looking to get a lot of experience. Recording studio. Definitely the best place to record. You need to pay for a recording studio, but for the money you get an acoustically treated environment, you get good gear, you have good microphones, and most importantly, you get a professional recording engineer. These people charge for their time, but they have valuable experience. They also can't make you sound like something you're not, but what they can do is give you a clear, balanced and focused recording that you can use as a demo. Search online for studios, call them up and ask them about recording a demo. Many studios have discount rates for unsigned independent artists, uh, or they even have demo rates. 
Um, if you think about spending maybe $500 on a home studio setup, you need to source the gear, you need to learn how to use it, learn how to record, you need to record and mix, then you need to press your demo and then you need to release your demo. You've done a lot of work and the results can vary, although you do get to keep all of the equipment at the end. Alternatively, you might find a studio with a day rate including engineer for $150 to $200 per day. If you only have one to three songs and you go into the studio, you could record on a Saturday, you could mix on a Sunday, and you could release that demo on the Monday. That's between three and four hundred dollars for a completed demo. If you're in a band, that might only mean a hundred dollars each. That's pretty good. I'm going to go over what to look for in a studio and how to prepare yourself for a professional recording in another video. It's really important to be ready when the time comes and the clock is ticking. Now, get recording. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you'd like the next video to be about in the comments below. Uh, please hit subscribe and head over to the Musicians Map Facebook group so we can discuss your musical journey. Also, go to musiciansmap.org to get my ebook and my audiobook about growing success in music, as well as a whole lot more free information and free content.